sometimes you just need to get flexible. And no, I'm not talking about the latest innovations in the world of yoga. <laughs> I'm talking about your cables. Whether they're in a consumer electronic design, an automotive application, or a medical design, sometimes you need your cable to be flexible. You need a flat, flexible cable or a flexible printed circuit. Besides flexibility, what other benefits do these kinds of solutions bring to the table? I'm glad you asked, because that's exactly what we're talking about today. Hi, I'm Amelia Dalton, host of Chalk Talk. In this episode of Chalk Talk, Logan Lukasik from Molex and I explore the benefits of Molex's flat, flexible cables and flexible printed circuits called PrimoFlex. We also investigate the custom capabilities of the PrimoFlex solutions and how you can get started using PrimoFlex in your next design. And before we get started, don't forget to click that link. There you can find even more information about this topic from Molex. Hi, Logan. Thank you so much for joining me today. Of course. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Okay, so we're talking about Primo Flex today. But first, Logan, give us some details about Primo Flex. Primo Flex is essentially the Molex brand name for what the industry knows as FFCs or FPCs, which are flat flexible cables or flexible printed circuits. These help reduce component costs as well as help maximize printed circuit board space. The main purpose of these cables is to connect a printed circuit board to some sort of display, user interface, sensor, or even another printed circuit board. One thing that Molex really likes to pride itself on is being a one-stop shop meaning that for every connector that we have, we supply the exact mating cable. Logan, what kind of applications would PrimoFlex be a good fit for? So we focus on five main markets, being consumer and appliance, medical, datacom, automotive, and industrial. Consumer and appliance is most of your household items. So think TVs, computers, laptops, dishwashers, dryers. Medical is hospital beds, transfusion pumps, or even medical wearable devices. Datacom is routers or servers. Automotive, we live more in the infotainment center side of things, perhaps even a steering wheel or a key fob. And then industrial is robotic arms or measuring equipment. Okay, so what kind of specifications are we looking at for PrimoFlex? Yeah, so a quick product overview. We have two families, as we like to call them. We have a standard and custom. Standard, we have over 18,000 standard parts, and we're continuing to grow year over year. These come in various pitch sizes, ranging from 0.25 millimeters all the way up to 1.25, and various flex life cycles, which I'll cover later on. And custom, we have a wide range of capabilities. Fantastic. Okay, so Logan, when it comes to flexibility, what does PrimoFlex bring to the table here. Right. So as I just mentioned, we have over 18,000 standard parts. And to kind of make this a little bit more digestible is we break these down into five different solutions-based categories. And that first one, which you just mentioned, is flexibility. These come in the various pitch sizes shown, as well as golden tin plating. And I just mentioned flex life cycles. These cables range from 50,000 all the way up to 2.5 million. And you may ask, what is a flex life cycle? And the example I always give is I like to think of a printer head. So think of a printer head resting idle in what we call a C-curve. And what a C-curve is, is how the cables are displayed on the slide right now. Imagine you wanna print out an image or whatever text you have on your computer, you click Control-P to print that out. That printer head is resting idle. It goes from the left side all the way up to the right, so it flattens out, comes back from right to left, to so goes back to that resting position to print out your image or text. That's what we consider one flex life cycle. Now, flex life cycles directly correlate to the thickness and or the thinness of the cable. So the thicker the cable, the less flex life cycles are going to be getting. The thinner the cable, the more. So we find this solution being ideal for what I just mentioned, printer heads, laptops, vending machines, a lot of dynamic applications. That makes sense. Logan, what about retention? What benefits does this solution include for retention in particular? Right, so our superior retention series comes in the various pitch sizes of 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, and 1.0 millimeters. We have golden tin plating, 
and we get to the retention part of what we consider latching features. So there's two different latching features. We'll first go over the top one here. So if we take a look at the gold plated cable on the slide, you can see to the left or to the right of the circuit, these two small indentations. Those are what we call notches. And if we take a look at the tin plated cable at the bottom to the left and the right of the circuit, you see these, for lack of a better word, these two small white things sticking out. Those are what we call ears. Now these notches and ears compared to straight termination cables help hold that mating connection between the connector and the cable with five times more strength. A common question that we get is, hey, what is the difference between notches or ears? Is there a difference? And the answer to that is no, there's not. What determines whether a cable has notches or ears is actually the layout or the mapping of the connector itself. They do the exact same thing. So these retention cables are ideal for those high shock or even automotive applications. Fantastic. Now, you talked about PrimoFlex being a good solution for consumer electronics as well, right? Right. So today's market, we see a need for smaller as well as faster products. So that's where our miniaturization line comes into play. And if you notice right off the bat, we have these very small pitch sizes of 0.25 millimeters as well as 0.30 millimeters. How we achieve these small pitch sizes is what we call staggered or offset pins. If you take a close look at the cables on the slide here, you can see essentially two rows of circuits, and that's how these small pitch sizes are achieved. We find these always being in the consumer electronics industry, so smartphones, wearable devices, as well as many handheld devices. What about applications that need high-speed data speeds? Yeah, the next solution category that we have is high speed or LVDS, which is low voltage differential signals. And many in the Molex world consider this our Rolls Royce offering. However, I like to call this the LeBron James of Primo Flex, otherwise known as the GOAT. You know, some might say it's Michael Jordan. However, I like to say LeBron. We can debate that in the comments later. But our high speed offering is the Rolls Royce of our brand because it comes with a controlled impedance of 90 ohms or 100 ohms. And 90 ohm controlled impedance is used for USB 3.0 connections, and 100 ohm is for those HDMI connections. Now these cables specifically, the gigabits per second you're going to be get correlates directly to the length of the cable. So the longer the cable, the slightly less gigabits per second, which is 2 to 5. The shorter the cable, you're going to be getting around that 5 to 10 range. All the time we see these in our Datacom customers as well as very, like, you know, those LED or 4K HD TVs. Very cool. Now, PrimoFlex is also a good solution for high interference environments where EMI is a critical design concern, right? Yeah, that's correct. So this leads us to our last and final solution-based category, our fifth one, which is EMI, as you just mentioned. And all this is is a cable that is aluminum foil wrapped around the body of the cable itself with the first and the last pin grounded. A common question that we get is how exactly do we do our grounding? And what we do is place the cable under a laser and we etch out a small trace to expose the circuit. And again, that cable is then wrapped with aluminum foil, heat pressed on with those pins grounded. All right, so let's talk about the PrimoFlex custom solutions. What kind of capabilities are we talking about here? We have a long list of capabilities that you can do. Anything that you can imagine or want to do to a cable, we can essentially do. So I'll start rattling the offs here, and then I'll touch a bit on each of them as we go through. So we can do an RFC, which is round flat cable, hot bar solder, component solder, shielding, hybrid, custom folds, PET jacket, and assembly. I'm going to first solo out the first two, which I mentioned, which is RFC and hot bar solder. We consider this more of cost saving metrics because these two do not require a connector. So round flat cable, what this does is connect a printed circuit board to another printed circuit board via the through hole. Our hot bar solder, all this is, is poly emit on the end of the circuit. You place it directly onto the solder pad on the printed circuit board, solder it directly on there. Next, we have the ability to do a component solder. In the case of the cable that you see on your screen is a thermistor, which measures the temperature of the body of the cable as well as the environment around it. However, we can do any sort of IC, transistor, resistor, LED, whatever fits on the body of the cable, we can go ahead and put the component on there. Shielding is also a custom capability. And you may ask, hey, I thought this was part of your standard solutions. And it is. The reason we list this as a custom capability is standard is first and last pin grounded. 
custom, we can do any sort of custom ground pins that you can imagine. Next, we have a hybrid solution in which on the cable on the slide here, we have a straight termination on the left side with an RFC on the right, but we can do any sort of mix and matching that you see fit. So ears on one side, notches on the other, notches on one side, straight termination on the other. Custom folds is pretty self-explanatory. Any sort of crease, bend, tight nook and cranny that you want to get into, we can go ahead and fit the cable in. PET jacket, in this case, it's black. However, this does come in a wide range of colors. I like to think about this being best for if there's any sort of exposed internal components, this jacket will help camouflage it into the rest of the assembly. Last but not least is the capability to do a full-on assembly, meaning we provide the cable, our very popular Molex three-piece connector, which comes with the connector, plug jacket, and cover. We put that all together in-house and ship it directly to you. Fantastic. All right, so let's take a closer look at some real-world applications. Great. So these next four cables I'm going to highlight all vary in customizations. One is a standard, and they all also vary in program size. These have all been programs that we've won this year. So the first cable that I'm going to highlight here is actually a standard product. This has ears on there. It's a standard 15018 series. It's a very small cable of only 51 millimeters in length. This specifically goes into a scooter and it's part of the dashboard. So, you know, it tracks the miles per hour, the odometers and things like that. This program has a 350,000 piece estimated annual usage. Cable number two is a custom cable in which it has three different custom features. One being the cable length, two is a custom circuit count, and then three is we have a fold. This is part of the medical industry and specifically it goes on a medicine dispensing arm. And this is for a smaller program of roughly about 30,000 pieces a year. Next, we'll come to the third cable here. And this, again, has three different unique customizations. It is a custom cable length, circuit count, and then it's an ultra-flexible LVDS. So typically, our LVDSs are very rigid because oftentimes we do see them in datacom applications. So nothing really dynamic. However, the customer required this to have about 2.5 million flex life cycles, so that's why we had to make it an ultra-flexible LVDS. This actually goes into a medicine drawer, and it is connected to a motherboard on a computer, so it tracks any time the drawer is opened and what drug is taken at what time, the date, how much of it was taken. So obviously this needed to be very flexible because this drawer is constantly being opened and closed throughout the day in a hospital. Last but not least is a bit more complex custom cable. It has four different customizations, two being a very common theme that you've seen here, one being the custom length and circuit count. Then we have two folds on there. And last but not least, there's actually adhesive on the body of this cable. This is for the consumer industry, and it goes into a keyless door lock and specifically for the hotel industry. And we've already shipped about 400,000 pieces this year, and we're encouraged this program might grow to about 1 million pieces a year. So, Logan, what specific solutions would you recommend in terms of retention in particular? So these two cables that you see here are actually two cables that we've released this year in 2024, part of our NPIs. Typically, the PrimoFlex team releases about two to three NPIs in a year. This year was pretty big for us in the sense of we did five, two of which are highlighted here. One is a very unique 0 0.40 millimeter pitch. As I mentioned earlier, Molex wants to be that one-stop shop, meaning that for every connector that we have, we want to provide the exact mating cable, which is why we release this cable. And then the second one is actually something we're very encouraged about and very excited about. We are one of the first business units in Molex to release a standard off-the-shelf product that mates with a direct competitor's connector. In this case, is Hiroshi. We went ahead and did an analysis with our distributor partners about what are the three biggest selling Hiroshi connectors. And we decided to release a standard line that mates directly with those. So we're interested to see how this does throughout the market next year. And with that, if it is a hit, we are going to start incorporating many other NPIs with competitors connectors. That's cool. Now, Logan, can Molex help me pick what kind of flat flexible cable would be the best fit for my next design? Yeah, that we can. So I'm going to say about 99% of the time, a customer is already going to be coming to you with a connector in mind. And with that, the connector tells us three main things, being the circuit size, the pitch, 
and the plating. From there, we want to know a couple more details. What length they're looking for, whether it's a static or dynamic application, so that's where those flex life cycles come back into play. And then we want to know the contact type. So there's two different contact types, being type A and type D. Type A means same side. So if we're looking at the cable head on here like we are on the slide, we see two of the same things being two circuits. If I were to flip that cable around, you would then see two blue stiffeners. Then there's type D means opposite side. So again, looking at the cable on the slide here, on the left, we see a blue stiffener. On the right, we see a circuit. If I were to flip that cable around, on the left, there's going to be a circuit. On the right, there's going to be a stiffener. How I like to think of this being type D to me means different. I'm going to be seeing two different things. Once we get those five main specs from you, we want to know a bit more about the application. So tell us the environment, temperature, is it high or low? Are there specific vibrations or data speeds that you need? All that helps us kind of guide the customer in the right direction. Logan, what would you like my audience to take away from today's Chalk Talk? I think the main point is we make it easy. And how exactly do we make it easy to work with us is, again, Molex is that one-stop shop. So for every connector that we have, we have the exact mating cable. We have very low program requirements compared to our competitors. Our standard product, we only require 1,000 piece minimum order quantity. While our custom is slightly higher, we look for programs with a 10,000 piece estimated annual usage, and we only require a 3,000 piece minimum order quantity. We also have the gold standard customer experience. And what exactly does this mean? We have quick turn quotes and drawings. I like to pride myself on getting quotes and drawings out to the customer within one week. We have same day technical support. So for whatever questions that I cannot answer, we have a team of engineers that we leverage very often. And then we do product trainings. And then one thing that I cannot stress enough is, and that we're very happy to advertise is free samples. We have an in-house prototype lab in Naperville, Illinois, which is in the western suburbs of Chicago. We offer one to five pieces absolutely free of charge. This comes with a one to two week lead time. And as I mentioned, these are handmade samples, so they're not exactly production quality, but they are about as close as you can get. And this helps the customer get a feel for fit, form, and function. So please leverage this capability. We oftentimes see if we are the first supplier to get customers product in hand, we oftentimes do win that business. Fantastic. All right, Logan. Well, I think that's all I have time for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Thanks for having me. And before we go, you didn't forget to click that link, did you? There you can find even more information about this topic from Molex. For Chalk Talks, I'm Amelia Dalton from eejournal.com. For more Chalk Talks, head on over to the Chalk Talks section of EE Journal. You can't miss it. It's right across the top. Or head on over to YouTube, youtube.com slash EE.